Good morning, YouTube. It's me, Megan. <laughs> Welcome to my channel and my first video ever. So today I'm just gonna do kind of like a like a mix of things. Um, I got some new protein powders from PE Science, like vegan protein powders, and I've been trying a lot of vegan protein bars lately. So I kind of want to do like a mini review on those. That's a fat lie. That did not happen at all. Uh, just know that I cannot be trusted because Lord knows vegan protein is like really good. Vegan protein is hard to come by. And then I'm also gonna go out shopping a little bit and get some new accessories for my new camera. Probably not gonna vlog because I don't really feel like vlogging is much of my style. I'm just gonna yeah run some errands and probably do like a little mini haul of some clothes and stuff that I pick up today because I just got grad money and I'm a shopaholic and I cannot contain myself. So I'm just gonna get a couple things. Don't worry I'm putting some into savings I'm being a responsible adult maybe and yeah about it go make me some vegan pancakes because i lost a little bit of weight because i haven't been up on my eating and i'm trying to bulk so yeah um see you then my mess right here i just can't i don't know how to not be that way anyway moving on so i got so much good shit today and I'm really excited about it, so I'm gonna show you some of it. My dog's like scratching at the door. I'm gonna show you my dog really quick. Come say hi, this is Charlie. Say hello, say hello. He's like a little over one years old. Yeah, yeah. And my parents got him while I was studying abroad in Italy, so they got a puppy while I was gone. I couldn't even see him when he was his puppy age. My dad saved his life because he was a little guy abandoned in the cold winter for three whole months yeah three whole months and people just kept like tossing him food it was really sad but now he has a loving home okay i'm a i'm a i'm a youtube now i'm a youtube now thank you buddy okay so first i went to this cute little like bookshop in monterey called luminata books and I just picked up like a couple little things that I needed. I wanted to get a journal because I really like to journal when I have time to journal. And this next like month and a half I'll have a lot of time. So I got this little journal. It says imagine on it in gold. And it's kind of childish or like, I don't know, kitschy. I don't know. Um, compared to like the neutral palette that I usually get stuff in. But I like floral patterns a lot too. And I just think like if it's really pretty then I'll remember that I have it. And I went to the Apple store because I needed a converter for my Mac. Because on these new fangled Macs. Is, this is a pretty ass computer. But it only has two holes. It's got one for the headphones and one of these little USB-C plugs. So I had to go get another charger which is just... Really extra of you, Mac. Thank you very much. After all of that, I went grocery shopping, which is the best part of the day. Um, and I got a couple cool little vegan things from Safeway. Um, so these are uh, Mary's Mary's Gone Crackers. These are the Super Seed Classic. Um, toasty and seriously seedy with a pinch of black pepper. I'd say they're kind of like sesame kind of flavor. Now I'm finished chewing. Also, from, from Mary's Gone Crackers, uh, I got the chocolate chip cookies. They're also vegan. So these guys... They're kind of dry. Serving size is two cookies, so it's eight grams of sugar, total 18 grams of carbs, six grams of fat, one gram of protein. Hmm, it's not too bad macros. They're meh. I think it would be good crumbled in like oatmeal or something like that. And lastly, I was really excited about these. They're dark chocolate dipped, dark chocolate dipped rice cakes. They had these like orange cream covered ones that I was like, oh, are they vegan too? They weren't vegan. They had like whole milk something in them. Also, they're kind of expensive. These were like $5 for six of these little dipped guys, so this better be good. Here's a good. Here's a bomb. 
You dip these in peanut butter? Oh, I'm gonna dip these in peanut butter. I wanna show you all of the clothes I got. They're not just gonna be workout clothes. I did get some workout clothes though. Um, but I just got a couple like jeans and tops and stuff like that. I'm not some like fashion guru style lady or anything like that. I just love clothes. I can spend an entire day in a dressing room with a bunch of clothes and just trying them on and playing dress up. I'm like my own doll. Yeah, so I'll show you what I got. So these jeans were a pair of the jeans that I got from Lucky Brand. And these ones weren't on sale. I think they were regular priced at $99, which is, yeah, pretty damn pricey. But um, they're, they're a great pair of jeans. And the other pair I have, I love. So can't go wrong with that. And that's just another black crop top from Forever 21. And I need 5,000 of them. These are another pair of jeans from Lucky Brand. But they were on sale for like $49, bucks, which is a steal if you know Lucky Brand. And the sweatshirt was just like 5 bucks from H&M. So I had to get it. These jeans were 19 bucks at Lucky Brand, which is absolutely insane. And they're so soft and fit so well. I really liked them, so I got these too. And the tops from Forever 21, I think it was like 15 bucks. Um, trying to like make it a little bit more work appropriate. I don't know. We'll see how that one goes. I don't know how I feel about it yet. So um, I actually didn't get the leggings today. I got those at Costco uh, last week. They're Adidas leggings, and they were like 20 bucks at Costco. But they're a little bit like loose in the waist, um, so they don't look the greatest. I don't know really how I feel about them. Not the best buy. Um, and then the white sports bra from Forever 21, which was like seven bucks on sale. Uh, and then another like light creamy pink color from Forever 21. Um, I wear a size small in Forever 21 sports bras. Usually I would go for extra small, but my lats are a little bit bigger. And then this is just another navy blue crop top same one as the black one that was also like three or five dollars so yeah i just kind of gotta cop all the crop tops you know just gotta catch them all and another cheap crop top probably five six bucks um it's a cute little halter shows off your sports bra i really like working out in crop tops um partly because they do show your sports bras and i have a lot of cute little sports bras and you can just kind of sweat them and tear them up and they don't really matter because they're cheap so yeah that's it so basically, yeah, that's uh, what I bought today and um, what I did today. I might do a workout video here or there, potentially, but the issue I have with that is that I am not a certified personal trainer. I don't have any formal education in this stuff. Everything that I know has been from years of researching on my own, asking questions. My boyfriend's a personal trainer, so like that's kind of helped a bit, but overall it's just been like... I don't know about six years of me just like googling things asking questions and like really digging in to the stuff that's been available Instagram is a great place to learn stuff take everything with a grain of salt because not everybody out there is speaking from a place of like knowledge I just feel weird making a workout video when I don't have any formal training in it so Everything has, that I like stick to all my bulking all my macros everything like that it's stuff that's worked for me and that I really enjoy researching and that I think like definitely has some either like scientific basis to it or has been a tried and tested method but just because I'm saying it doesn't mean that you need to take it seriously or anything like that if this is more than anything just a diary for me to talk about the stuff that I like to talk about uh I don't really I don't really have an outro. I don't really plan on doing anything too crazy with YouTube. Uh, again, I'm just probably going to use it more like a diary. Um, <clears throat> don't really want to make any money off of it or make it a career or anything like that. I just really needed a passion project. So this is just my journey and the things I like. And yeah, that's it. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. That'll make me feel good about myself. Um, <laughs> But otherwise, just thanks for watching, fam. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.